Well, the coronavirus crisis has many people asking what happens next. WBZ political analyst John Keller joins us tonight with some viewer questions. And John, let's start with two questions on the same topic. Dana wants to know if the president yeah. decides to open up the country again in a couple of weeks, he has said he hopes by Easter, can Governor Baker refuse to comply? And Kathy asks, can Congress override the president's back to work order? Yeah, great questions, Dana and Kathy. Thank you. Uh, yes, absolutely. Governor Baker can uh, choose to comply or not comply with any suggestion that the president makes. He only has the power to make suggestions on issues like this. That power vests in the states and in local governments. Uh, however, Congress, under the Constitution, uh, getting to uh, Kathy's question, does have the power to regulate commerce. So, in theory, uh, they could step in and, and start uh, hmm. ordering businesses to do this or that. However, the chances of that happening with this Congress are slim and none, and I think Slim just uh, left town on his way to his vacation home in Chatham. And we'll see if the president sticks to that Easter timeline based on the way the numbers are going today. He might not. And several people pointed out that the Glad stimulus will balloon the already soaring federal debt. And Dan asks, do you think that the top 1% will end up paying more taxes to eventually pay for this $2 trillion stimulus? Yeah, well, Dan, I think that wholly depends on who wins the election this November. At some point, the bill's going to come due. Uh, we're already spending hundreds of billions of dollars, you and I are, to service our mushrooming debt. But the fact is, the political reality in Washington is that it doesn't seem to be the issue that it once was not so long ago. It was the foundation of the Tea Party movement. No one, uh, particularly notably the Republican Party, doesn't seem to care anymore. Uh, as, uh, but as far as the 1% seeing their taxes go up, Let's put it this way. I'll believe it when I see it. John, I look back at the 2009 stimulus after the 2008 financial crisis. No Republicans voted for that. They said it would balloon the deficit too much. Yeah, times have really changed, and it turns out that particular set of beliefs and principles were strictly situational. John Keller, good to see you at your home. We'll see you again soon. Thank you.